hey guys welcome back to xamarin guys so in this tutorial we are going to play around with xamarin community toolkit shield view so we'll be first of all creating a new xamarin forms project and this project is going to a very short one so let's start with a new xamarin forms brand new app now let's give the project name as shield app and then i'll just copy it paste it and then create a new application name and then the project name will be sealed app so let's wait for some time till the, our application loads out at first we are going to add xamarin community toolkit so right click on the main project now let's add a pre-release package that is our xamarin community toolkit inside our xamarin form shared android and ios project so on december month 2020 uh, we are going to get a stable version of xamarin community toolkit so we don't need to add a pre-release package for xamarin community toolkit click on ok so let's wait for some time so that our xamarin community toolkit gets added to all the shared android and ios project now let's go to our main page dot xaml i need to just accept it now i'm going to remove this frame from our stack layout and where we'll be adding our shield view inside the stack layout. Now let's add XCT and then shield. This is a shield view which gets inherited from our uh, community toolkit. If you don't get any inheritance, then you can just simply add that namespace over there. Then our next stop is to add a horizontal option as center and expand because we want that shield to be at center and expand we have lots of property i request you to just play around with those property like font size and subject and the status as 4 point no i need to make it as 9.0 because we have android status as 9.0 so you can just play around with those values and color as dark sea green and i'm just going to add text color as white that's all now let's add uh, our set uh, ios project as startup project and then I'm just going to select iPhone 8 as my starting project and let's start the project whether it compiles and gives us as uh, expected output or not okay we got our as expected output now I'm going to increase the size of the font as 30 so you can get the size of the shield as 30 and then we can just play around with the uh, tabbed event also for this uh, uh, shield view so whenever that shield item is tapped then we'll get our event handler over here then we can just play around with the sealed item tapped event that's all that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for next tutorials